Good morning. From sunny Slovenia. We have had a very leisurely morning. We just enjoyed some delicious coffee. And now we're heading for our 11 a.m. walking tour. Excited to see the rest of the city. We're back in the same place as yesterday with our new friend, Aaron. <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> well, that was awesome. So with the free walking tour that we did yesterday then that was really focusing a lot more on the medieval history as well as taking us up to the castle but today was kind of filling in the gaps on everything else so pretty much all of the other buildings we weren't able to cover as well as a lot of other periods of the history of both this city and also the country so it was absolutely fascinating yeah lucy is an amazing tour guide we had her again and I just love the fact that we got to see, what was it called, Presharon Square? Yes. Maybe? Yeah, and then, so. like, the Triple Bridge, the Dragon Bridge, Cobbler's Bridge, oh, the Butcher's Bridge, otherwise known as the Love Bridge. Many bridges, basically. We got to see the cathedral and the town hall again, but we didn't go inside. Mm -hmm. And then we finished up at this square, which is called something. Now that we're finished, we're going to head to lunch with Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> we have come to this restaurant, which is called Meat Meat. It is rated number one on TripAdvisor. So we're gonna go try some traditional Slovenian food. So we've gone for a gigantic platter uh, with a plethora of different hams and prosciutto and salami here, pork crackling with some cheese, and then we have the kind of ultimate local speciality of carniol and sausage as well. All of that with some sauerkraut, pumpkin seed oil, mayo, and some bread. So let's dip in. This is a traditional Slovenian cake that came with our meal. It is layered and it has apple, walnut, poppy seeds, and cottage cheese. Well, that was amazing. Thoroughly enjoyed that. Essentially, it was kind of like the biggest platter that they had, which split between three people was just about filling enough, I think. But, but honestly, the quality of the products that they had on display there was so good, especially that like famous sausage that they do here. Washing that all down with a nice beer was just lovely. Yeah, and the sauerkraut was different than anything we get because it was like dry and not wet and vinegary. It so was, different. It was delightful. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's kind of more like horseradish, really. Yeah. So really good. And now we're going to just kind of keep drinking our ways through the city where we can. So we're going to yeah. go find some blueberry wine. Yes. Yeah. This sounds awesome. Back so, to the place where they had the free samples. Yeah. And going to get some more free samples. <laughs> Well, 
that was just lovely. Um, it was great to get to spend some time getting to know Erin and eating and drinking our way through the city together. It was just all in all a really good time and hopefully a sign of more things to come as far as meeting people, getting to have like these kind of wonderful once in a lifetime experiences. Yeah, it was so nice to meet her. She was on both of our walking tours yesterday and today. And it was great because obviously we got to learn about her, pick up some of her travel tips and tricks, but also it enabled us to do a few things that we wouldn't have done by ourselves, like try that platter at lunch. That was something that if we weren't splitting the cost three ways, we would never have been able to try. And that way we also got to try a dessert. So we had more Slovenian food. Mm -hmm. That's why it's great to just meet new friends and on say, the road and say yes to a couple of things as well here and there absolutely i enjoy today so much more than yesterday purely because of the sun i think weather really does affect how i see a city and it was just beautiful to walk by the river the architecture is gorgeous to see like the baroque and the viennese succession influence yeah, I think you just get to kind of look up a bit more, appreciate a bit more of what's around you and just kind of take this in because really this is a really interesting and altogether very beautiful city and you just get to appreciate more when the weather's nice, really. We've got, what, about, about three hours and so we need to head onto our bus uh, to get into our next country of Croatia. Uh, so it should be a two hour bus ride into Zagreb and in the meantime, we're just going to do a spot of editing and working. We are officially on the bus to Zagreb. It was a bit of a hairy experience because these guys weren't on like the timetables or anything like that. So they kind of just turned up. We just had to wait for them to be there. Uh, before we jumped uh, off, but thankfully they came here and seemingly we're moving in a Zagreb-like direction. So it's going to be a bit sad to leave Slovenia, it was really, really fun, but we're really looking forward to um, hitting up Croatia for the first time. Until next time though, take care. And keep smiling.